Hi everybody. You know, when you visit the Spark Museum, you'll quickly realize that people always wanted certain things, like light. People have always wanted light. Off, on, continuous light, something people have always wanted. Something else people have always wanted, and that's the ability to send and receive messages without having to go there. Whether it's the shop telescope used by Napoleon to get a message clear across France, or these early candlestick telephones where you could send and receive a human voice. People have always wanted to communicate great distances. Something else people have always wanted that we have here at the Spark Museum, and that's machines, devices, something that makes music for you. This is a cylinder from a music box, just like this music box. And every pin on the cylinder is a tone. Now that could be your favorite song. And you could take your favorite song to your friend's house and say, hey, want to hear my favorite song? And if they had a machine like this, they could play it. No electricity. Now I'd like to show you a similar musical device from the beginning of the 20th century that uses this exact same pattern to give you music. I'm going to have to jump start this. And there it is, that same pattern. Every hole is a tone. It's pneumatic. And the longer the hole, the longer the note. And there's the lyric to go with it. Let's get a better look. They don't make them like that anymore. Our player piano is just one of the many devices we demonstrate every day at the Spark Museum. So until next time, stay grounded.